Alan Jasonoff, The Biological Mind, How Brain, Body, and Environment Collaborate to Make Us Who We Are. Immerse yourself in a fascinating exploration of the human brain and the biological mind, how brain, body, and environment collaborate to make us who we are by Alan Jasonoff. Discover how our thinking is shaped not just by our brain, but also by our body and environment. Uncover the mysteries and misconceptions that surround our cerebral cortex and delve into the history of people's perspectives on this vital organ. Learn how the brain is influenced by complex interactions with our physical bodies and the world around us. By understanding the holistic nature of our minds, you will gain a fresh perspective on the finer aspects of what makes us who we are. The Cerebral Mystic The cerebral mystique is the misguided notion that the brain is a transcendental object, more than just an organ. This belief began with phrenology in the early 1800s and persists today. Despite modern scientific understanding of the brain as a complex biological organ impacted by numerous variables, popular culture still depicts it as mysterious and supernatural. This summary explains the history of the cerebral mystique and how it impacts our perception of the brain. Beyond the computer analogy the brain has often been compared to a computer due to its ability to store memories and process information. However, this analogy can only stretch so far. The brain is much more organic and relies on a complex mix of chemical processes to function. Calling the brain a computer reinforces the mistaken belief that the brain is fundamentally different from other organs. In reality, the brain is wet, messy, and thoroughly organic, with about half of its composition made up of glia cells and various fluids that are crucial to its thinking process. Understanding the brain's complex simplicity The brain's complexity can be simplified, and understanding its basic functions can lead to a better understanding of the brain as a biological organ. Despite having billions of neurons and trillions of possible configurations, it is possible to study the brain's basic operations. Researchers have identified cortical columns responsible for discrete brain functions, which could pave the way for understanding the brain's complexity as a whole. Focusing on these basic operations can lead to results, as seen in patients with fewer neurons who can still live a normal life. Complexity is overrated, and simplicity can provide a better understanding of the brain. Mind reading and the illusion of brain imaging. Have you ever dreamed of being able to read minds? Recent advancements in brain imaging have brought us a step closer to this possibility. The most advanced method of examining the brain currently is through functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI, which tracks blood flow in the brain. While fMRI has yielded significant insights, there are limitations to the technique. The images produced by fMRI are not as precise as they seem, due to the technique's limited spatial resolution. Every fMRI picture is actually a statistical aggregate of hundreds of attempts, and this processing is prone to error. Additionally, flashy headlines in the media often make claims that are not supported by science, based on brain imaging studies. The key message here is to approach any claims made by fMRI studies with a bit of skepticism. The Brain-Body Connection the Alcor Life Extension Foundation claims to freeze your brain until you can be revived in the future. Even if this were possible, it wouldn't be like pressing play on a video. Our self is not wholly contained in our brain. Our body is an essential part of our mind because a complex interaction between them generates human consciousness. The brain receives information from and sends signals to the body. The microbiome in our gut also plays a role in our emotions. Research indicates that it might help us regulate our stress levels and deal with mental illnesses like depression and anxiety. The Impact of Our Surroundings Our cognition, thoughts, feelings, and intentional actions are influenced by the world around us. The brain receives 10 megabytes of sensory data per second through sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell, which impacts brain activity. Dysfunctions like seasonal affective disorder and attention deficits can also be linked to external surroundings. As a result, 
our behavior is subject to the influence of the world around us. Beyond the Brain The book challenges the popular neuroessentialist view by affirming that human behavior is influenced by factors beyond the brain, and other causes should be considered when seeking to understand why people perform some actions. The book uses the case of Charles Whitman, a former Marine who killed 18 people in 1966, to illustrate this point. Although a post-mortem autopsy revealed a tumor in Whitman's hypothalamus and amygdala, brain regions responsible for regulating emotions, there were also environmental factors such as his youth, unhappy childhood, rough marriage, and recent failed studies, and a humiliating court-martial from the Marines. The book argues that while neuroessentialism continues to dominate current psychology discourse, behaviorism, which posits that human behavior is influenced by external factors like society and the environment, has a role to play. It posits that society needs to move beyond the simplistic notion of neuroessentialism and embrace a more nuanced understanding of human psychology that takes into account the various causes that influence individual behavior. The Stigmatization of Mental Illness Mental illness is best viewed as a disease of the brain, yet a neuroessentialist view can lead to unchecked stigmatization, overlooking other potential causes and cures, and ignoring environmental factors that contribute to mental health. While psychiatric disorders are no longer viewed as personal failings, framing them as just a brain disease can create a new stigma. This framing can lead to patients and society viewing them as having a broken brain, which was the basis for many inhumane social programs. Furthermore, this view can make us overlook potential cures for mental illness such as syphilis, where an antibiotic can cure the symptoms, not an invasive brain treatment. The neuroessentialist view also obscures the fact that social and environmental factors contribute to mental health, wherein unemployment, lack of income, or insufficient social connections can be associated with mental illness like depression. The cure for these mental health issues is not just to treat individual patients, but to fix certain societal aspects. The Myths and Realities of Brain Hacking Brain hacking, the manipulation of the brain with digital technology, is a topic of great interest for transhumanists. However, experts warn that these promises of brain enhancement with neurotechnology may be unrealistic and often dangerous. While successful brain-machine interfaces have been created, interventions to the brain are risky and narrow in focus. Other peripheral neurotechnologies like targeted muscle re may offer safer and more effective options for enhancing mobility without the need for brain surgery. Additionally, the access to brain upgrades and even nootropics may be limited to those with high incomes, causing social disparity. A brain without a body what would life be like if your brain was cryogenically preserved and later reawakened in a bioelectronic simulation? While the technology would allow for limitless experiences, it couldn't replace the physical responses of the body, leading to numbed emotions and a loss of identity without a stable environment. Without a connection to the world through the body, the brain wouldn't be the same, you. Summing up, the biological mind brings to light the holistic nature of the human mind, moving beyond the notion of the brain as the sole determiner of who we are. The book unravels the complex relationship between our brains, bodies, and the environment, making it clear that numerous factors contribute to shaping our being. By addressing the cerebral mystique and understanding the nuances in the function of the brain, we can develop a more profound comprehension of ourselves and the world around us. It's crucial to remember that our minds are intrinsically connected to our physical bodies and our surroundings, ultimately influencing each other to form the rich tapestry of human experience.